Hello Lola's, welcome back to my channel guys. Hey y'all. So I am here with baby Phoebe and you guys know I don't show Phoebe as much. She is my personal baby, my personal collection. Um, she was painted from the Willow Awake um, Blank Kit Edition from Claire Teller. And she was painted by myself. And so this little ladybug, oh my gosh, is she not in the frame or what? What happened? Let's see, ladybug. There you go, ladybug. Anyway, so, yeah, so she was painted by me. She is my little full body silicone baby. She doesn't have a drink and wet. She just has elbow armatures. And today I want to talk about... Um, buying babies in between like you waiting on another baby and then you get another baby or my other thing is more so buying babies until you find that one like oh i like her she's so cute but really deep down that's not the baby that you really envision having in your collection like you have this idea of the baby that you really really want like people call it dream babies you know, um, like when you first get into the hobby or not just get in the hobby, if you've been in the hobby a while and you've seen a baby that you really, really love, you're like, oh man, I want a baby like that in my collection. But this other baby come along and you're like, oh my gosh, she's so cute. The price is kind of right. So you get it. That's like an in-between baby. That's a settle baby type thing. Like maybe some people may call it. A lot of people will tell you that those are not good. Even me will tell you after a while. I mean, come on. You got to stop buying all the in-between babies and go for what you really want. So, um, I may I may say that, but there's different phases in your collecting. And sometimes I think the in-between babies are actually good for some of you guys, and I'll tell you why. Um, when I first started collecting, I collected so many different babies. It was just crazy. I was just getting babies after babies after babies after babies after babies after babies after babies. After babies. That's what I was known for, just constantly getting new babies. But it actually allowed me to see, A, different sculpts, B, different paint styles, not as many as I probably could have seen had I not get gotten stuck on one particular artist for like years at a time or months at a time or babe like I'll buy like five or ten babies from the same artist and then get with another artist buy another five or ten babies from that artist and then I get with another because once I get with an artist that I really like work I just kind of stick with them for a while so I probably would have had a lot more but I did experience a lot of in-between artists um new artists seasoned artists you know, top of the line artists along the way. But I have to appreciate those babies that was just quite not it because had I not seen them in person, I would not be able to appreciate the ones that came after. Um, or some of them, I would not have known that this is something I don't like or this is something that this type of sculpting is not for me or you know, this type of waiting is not for me. So I think when you just jump from A to Z, sometimes you miss the in-between. That's the same as like with painting, anything. A lot of people like want you to just give all your secrets to them. Just tell them how you do what you do. But you know what? When people go and learn from there to there, they don't know how to get in between. So... Um, for example, I used to collect from two um, very good artists, and I'm not going to say their names. Um, both painted ethnic babies, black babies, biracial babies, whatever you want to call them. Um, both could do a wide range of skin tones. One was self-taught, one was went to school, and one work was very crisp. The other one was not so crisp, but really like nailed it and had the baby felt like it had more of a soul if that makes sense but what happened is the one that was self-taught and that had worked their way up by just learning by experiences and mistakes and stuff like this she could fix 
not only her mistakes, she can almost fix everybody else's mistakes too. Like they would send their dolls to her and she would be able to fix it because she messed up enough on her own or, you know, experienced, experimented so much on her own that she found, she figured out how and why things act the way or do the way that they do, if that makes sense. Whereas the one that was so cookie crisp, well taught, so neat, professional, commercialized painting, she have to strip the whole doll and start all over again because she just didn't know how to go back in and do this or that. So I think the experience along the way is good for you. That's just my my take on it. And then we have the people that go by what so-and-so said. <laughs> I'm listening to so-and-so because that's my friend. And I like her and she's nice and she won't steer me wrong. But some of you guys don't understand the dynamics of this community as well. There's always a good side and there's always a bad side. There's always a, mm, a little shady side. So there are some people that want you to have your dream baby. They are rooting for you. They can't wait to see you with your dream baby because they love the way you dress your babies. They love the way you pose your babies. And it's like, oh my God, I just want to see her with the baby that she really wants. So I, I can't only imagine how she finna put this baby together. That's how it is. Like I have some people that I was like, please, I can't wait till they get a silicone baby. If I was rich, I would have bought one and sent it to them. And that is crazy. I know that might sound crazy. It might sound unbelievable to some of you people, especially you people that got jealous spirits and don't want to see nobody doing better than you or as good as you. That may sound a little weird, but really, truly, there's a couple people in this community that I just want to see with a silicone baby because I'm like, I just can't imagine that with a silicone baby if they act like this with their reborn babies. So one of those people actually finally got their silicone baby and I am like loving the experience. Um, you know, experience it with them. They're, you know, watching them and stuff. But this is the, why the sourcing, going to those sources can be a little tricky going to people that you are thinking going to give you, you know, the top tip advice and they're going to tell you, oh girl, you should buy this. Oh, you should buy that. But you got to keep in mind there are some people that don't want you to have a nicer collection than them. They they are good as long as you guys are on the same level, on the same page. If y'all are collecting the same dolls, that's good. But it's the minute that they feel like you are surpassing them in your collection or, you know, popularity or anything like that. They don't want to see you like that. So you think they're going to tell you, girl, yeah, I really heard so-and-so babies are really nice. You should go for that. No, they're not going to tell you to get that baby. They're going to tell you to get the mediocre baby so you can stay right there with them type thing. And I know that sounds crazy. And I don't want to sound like negative Nancy because that's not what it's about. I'm just being real with you guys because somebody need to tell you. <laughs> that's going to be my, listen, that's going to be my new slogan. Somebody needs to tell you. <laughs> Y'all ain't listening. That's what the pastor used to say. I'm sorry. Okay, let me stop. But, um, <laughs> I don't know if y'all know, but I am a complete diaper junkie. So, my friend was showing me some diapers. She was going to send me some diapers and some new prints. And I needed a different size. So, I had to order my own in different size. And I ended up ordering, like, other like two more other prints other than this print but i am just loving these oh my gosh like i love diapers like i have so many diapers guys it is so sickening it is very sickening but i do donate them sometime to real babies my um grandbaby had diapers left over that's like too small for her so I be like, okay, look, I'm gonna buy you <laughs> the size that she's in, and then you give me the 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 ones that's too small. Plus, you know, we got a new baby in the family, so we were able to donate some of those to the to that baby. But yeah, I definitely am a junkie of diapers. That is the next thing that I think I have an obsession with is collecting diaper prints. So. Yeah, so anyway, like I was saying, so 
so yeah so in between babies is not so bad also guys you gotta kind of just go out on your own and do your own thing um had i not just did my own thing i would have been in such bad shape like when i say bad shape i think i would have been stuck just with the same babies never you know never getting anything you know different never knowing exactly what was out there had i not went to a doll show had i not did a meetup got out of my comfort zone of not wanting to be in crowds or you know being with a lot around a lot of people because i'm not i'm not a people person in that way i'm a people person but i'm not a people person if that makes sense like i like people at a distance but i don't like you to be all up in my personal private space if that makes sense so but once I got out of my comfort zone and I did a couple meetups and then I met some amazing um, private collectors that I could meet up with and see their amazing collections like oh my god I'm like these people this heifer got money <laughs> that's, <laughs> that's all I was saying when I was looking at her dolls I was, you know you be like instead of being like oh my gosh this baby is so cute I'm thinking like oh my God, this heifer got money. Girl, what you do? <laughs> you must be got that golden hot pocket. No, I'm just playing. But no, um, seriously. But it allowed me to see like so many different babies and different paint styles and stuff like that. And also, you know, even with painting. I think some people that think it's so simple and it's so easy and they think, oh my God, I'm just going to start painting my own babies. I just... I don't want to knock no one because you know guys I was the first one to tell you go ahead and paint do it yourself so I don't want to knock anyone I feel like you should really try it because I think it will put some things in perspective for you I think it will allow you to see it is not that easy everybody is not going to be able to make a super realistic baby um and it takes a lot of work and a lot of money with, as you start growing into the art so I think that if you want to try painting do it because there are some people that maybe haven't tried it and maybe they've never touched paint ever in their life and might be our next top artist that's just haven't opened up that Pandora's box so it could go either way some of you guys might open up a you know tornado and be like close that right down girl um and some of you guys might open up and be like Phew. oh my god we got a new artist yes so you know whatever it is in life that you want to do just do it like nike baby <laughs> girl listen if you don't sit your butt still you finna get a pop pop <laughs> that's what i be telling my daughter i'm like i'm like are you gonna get a pop pop and she'd be like, my baby will never get popped. I'm like, yeah, baby. When she get up older, you're going to be wanting to pop them butts. My babies didn't really have to get much poppings because I'm their mama. <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. Their daddy had a real deep voice. He had a deep, deep voice. And child, listen, it worked. He would just be like, didn't you hear your mama say sit down? They be like, they don't even, they don't even bat their eye, blink their eye. They just sit down. It's just something about a man's voice. Apparently, that's why I ended up having four kids. But anyway, but yeah, but they would just listen. So I didn't really have to do that. But anyway, I don't know why we got onto parenting. But let's get this girl in these players. Let's see what we can do. Why you still got your socks on, mama? Oh, why you still got your socks on? You still... Tracy, you so Tracy, you touch your socks on, you touch your socks on, yes I do mama. But yeah, I just think, you know, cause I'm, I'm, a lot of people are just really like spazzing out saying they can't find the babies that they want, da 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 da. Some of you guys, um, Chase was popular. If a sculptor is popular or an artist is popular, no matter what they paint, you you want it. But the sculpt might not be for you. And so you find yourself like getting babies that you don't really like when you get it. And it's because 
do you guys keep chasing popularity and not what you actually love find something that you are drawn to this is her little feet feet seats guys but i'm gonna keep her socks on look at her got fuzzies on it those are little feet seats one is closed one is more open come on pup pup but yeah some i have friends like i have this one one friend that i talk to in the community she i love her because she will love a doll and she will love a sculpt but she knows what she likes and what she don't like like she is so knowing what she likes like she like big babies with awake babies not sleep she don't really like no newborn size babies so see that's your feet that's your feet but when a baby come out, she might be like, oh my God, that baby is so cute. You know, oh, I love her. I love him. But it's like, I'm like, are you going to get that baby, Nanta? She's like, mm-mm. She's like, no, it's not the one for me, you know. And it's like, I love it. I love that she knows what she wants. And it's like, she's disciplined. She don't just buy it just to buy it. But I also don't knock us impulsive shoppers either because guess what? That's how we learn. Like it's it's really how we learn. The only time that I, I the only time that I really, really say it's kind of not good when you, you do it is like say for instance your goal is to get this very, very exquisite doll and it's gonna cost you a lot of money. And you keep investing your money in like dolls that are not going to hold their value or anything or just you know dolls that you really don't want but you n already know what you really want and you're buying stuff look at you got lint all fuzzies on you from this blanket but you already know like you know look at what you what you what you well see this 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 is all in in the sculpting like the the realism in her is all in the scope. Look at that baby. Your diaper look cute on you. Um, but yeah, that's when I say, okay, it's time to put a pause on buying and just hold out and get that the real deal, what you really want. Because you know what you want. You have a goal. So you need to save for it and just get it. Like, stop playing with yourself. If you already know but if you don't really know what it is that you want I mean I've actually like painted babies that I was like oh I like this baby but I didn't know that it was gonna like really like steal my heart heart like I didn't know that it was gonna be like oh this is the one type thing until I actually got it like I liked it but I didn't think it was gonna be like a lifetimer or anything like that like I seriously kind of knew it probably wouldn't be but then it turned out to be everything like Mick by Audrey Stoetti I always loved that sculpt but I didn't know I was gonna love it that much right but that baby is never going out of my collection so it's like um I mean you just might be surprised um and then there's babies that I really really liked but then they they they, when I seen them and the way that they move, the way that they pose and their clothes, I was kind of like, mm, see you later, Bible. You ain't make it <laughs> next. <laughs> but I wouldn't know until I actually got the baby. And I'm kind of over listening to people tell me stuff sometimes because, you know, collectors and artists, they lie. And they over exaggerate things, especially when they're trying to sell a baby. They They lie. And they will tell you that it's the greatest baby in the world and it's so cuddly and damn baby is stiff like a cardboard or oh my god it looks so real and you get it it look like a damn alien like it's like so i don't know sometimes you just gotta really trust your own judgment i mean we do have to sometimes rely on what we see out here 
make you know pictures videos stuff like that but just kind of make your own judgment at the end of the day and make your own choices you know what your preference is you know if you like babies with big eyes you know if you like babies with big noses big lips you know if you like babies with no lips closed eyes you know if you like babies that have like funny expressions even though i may be like i don't like those little elf looking babies but that might be your thing because maybe your nieces and nephews look like little elves so don't let nobody tell you what you should be liking like what you like love what you love and take your experience for what it is everything is a freaking experience a experience. <laughs> it's an experience <laughs> Somebody needed to tell you that. All right, thanks guys for watching. We will see you in the next video. I am going to probably, oh my God, I'm gonna come back later. And I'm gonna do a video of Major because he is so majorly cute. Anyway, oh, and just girl, guess what? I just realized I don't have nothing but mostly Reborns in my collection right now. So that is like so crazy for me. Like most of my collection is Reborns and I am so freaking loving it. It's so crazy. Like it is the craziest thing. Like I am so in love with my Reborns right now. Like and I'm steady adding more Reborns. I do have about seven silicone blank kits to paint for myself. Some of them I will sell. I'll probably only keep three out of the seven. But still, um... Reborns has really been it for me right now because I just it's just such a variety of faces and stuff but anyway I will talk to you guys later and like I said see you in the next video don't forget to like share comment make sure you follow me on mrrenditysmithbabies.com and Instagram Serenity Smith Mr. Smith. bye